we've uh, memorialized 11 houses with some significant damage from trees being down and then wires down and some of the electrical infrastructure, broken poles. We have some broken utility poles and stuff. So it'll be some time before we get power back because they won't set poles until daylight. Right. So right. I don't know to the extent that we energy has to deal with. Front window, I could see where the our substation blew up, the actual white lights from the substation blowing up seven miles away. And I knew right away there was problems in the way. At that point it was you know, getting my kids down into safety and making sure they were all right first before I, I came down here. And right. at that point, all I could do is just sit back and, and watch, keep an eye on the weather and the radio communications and do the best I could. It was just a, a, rotation, in a, a rotation in a cloud. And I, you know, it, it, it's breathtaking to, you know, see that. And that's when I called in to Sean and said to get our weather siren going. And as soon as they hit the weather siren, we lost power and that weather siren quit.